Hello everyone, it's Sizzle Labs and this is Ignomatica 2 Skyblock. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. I'm having an utterly fantastic one myself. Grimax is a pretty cool pack here. Just kind of hammer out, man. Just get her done. Uh, even to announce episodes, I did a fair amount. You can kind of see here. I kind of built a whole lot of dirt down here. <laughs> Made it look like a proper floating island. I'm probably going to do that to all of them. I know it's a little too symmetrical and a little too perfect. But I just went like rings, the smaller rings. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. This is good enough for me. I think it looks really good, actually. So I'm pretty happy with it. Also, I added a couple more platforms here. So we've got three more. Uh, one's got a Batania stuff on it. One is going to be Astral, and that one's probably going to be Thomcraft. And I'm probably going to throw Blood Magic uh, down underneath kind of that central part. So I built some more of my uh, Slopey Bridges. So that's pretty cool. Uh, pretty awesome. So I did that as well. I actually played for about five hours. I did a little bit of research with Thawcraft, but we'll get into that later. Uh, over, where are they? We're going to run around a circle for no apparent reason. Over here, I actually automated the metallurgic infusers. So we got those going. See in there, there's a whole lot of, a whole lot of recipes. The way I kind of did it is I have um, an enrichment chamber touching each one. And it's pumping in the enriching material, I guess the infusing material, uh, into it. So it automatically gets filled. So the way I have it set up, an export bus is exporting the given material into the enrichment chamber that it needs to get enriched and then it's automatically sending that material over to the metallurgic confuser um, but it always keeps a backup right so there's always going to be a stack plus a stack of the compressed plus a stack of compressed in here right so it, it, it is a little expensive but as we go through the pack and use tons of it it's not going to matter and quite frankly all that redstone's free and this way it's always buffered it's always buffered it's ready to go i'll never have to wait on it so that is pretty awesome it makes it so you can make the recipes though, instead of having to set a redstone, I just have to send one iron ingot, and it makes like, say, enriched alloy, or any of these recipes, I literally just have to send one component, then it kind of finishes off for us. So I did the same here, uh, in this one I'm doing the, what is that one there? That is the refined obsidian dust. That one I'm only pointing out, because over here I have a crafting card, on this one in particular, because this one does the obsidian, right? Uh, so it actually needs to have refined obsidian to be able to make that, and, uh, it has to be able to craft it without me having to do it. So if I throw a crafting card in here and the system already knows how to make whatever is in this filter, it's going to automatically make it and just kind of send it to the machine. So yeah, it just does it all for me. I don't have to set up any extra automation <laughs> to kind of get that going. So that's pretty cool. Um, use stockpiled items. I actually mean to have it on this setting here. Uh, do not use stockpiled items. Only craft items while exporting. Um, that way, if I have any refined obsidian uh, inside the system, it won't pull it out. It'll make new ones and put it in the machine, just in case you want to stockpile any items when you do that. Over here, I have the coal one, but um, honestly, <laughs> I don't even know if we need that one, to be honest. Uh, I automated these two as well, so I got the osmium compressor. Uh, same concept, it's just exporting osmium, then it's always full. And it's, there's only two recipes to automate there, so that's done. Also automated the precision sawmill, it's actually going right now. What it's doing now is going to fill up this drawer with oak planks and then be done. So I have it on the same kind of concept uh, with the crafting card, I believe, in the back uh, right in here. And it's actually automatically crafting the wood because we don't actually have a tree farm. We're using the essence. It just crafts the essence into the oak wood. I think 3 equals 16. It then uh, sends it to the machine. It grounds down the wood. And I also have, I believe, a storage bus on this one so the system could actually see the wood. So... Yeah, that was the automation I did there. <laughs> what else did I did here? There was something else I did. I think I did something else. That might have been it. I mean, that was enough. That was a ton, right? Um, in between episodes, there's going to be a lot of this kind of stuff where I get some of that basic automation done to just show you how I did it. Because really, I mean, it's not a big deal, a lot of it. I'll get to the more complex stuff. But the basic stuff, unless I have to do it on the fly, um, yeah, not a big deal. I have all this Thawncraft stuff here because, well... We're going to have to get into this soon. I actually want to get into Astral first and then see if we have to get into Thawncraft today. But I was fooling around with the research. It is a little strange. I wasn't really kind of prepared for it. You see here, you get these kind of theories. You got to create a theory here. You got to have paper in here and scribing tools. And uh, yeah, you can kind of put certain things around it as well. It kind of dictates what kind of research it'll kind of target. There's no guarantee it's all RNG. Um, but, um, it's a weird little system, so it's like this, like, little card game, almost, where you can go study Arcane Infusion. You can actually see it on the back of the card, so if you don't even want to think about it. And I actually didn't do much thinking about it, I just kind of click on things, 
and uh, stuff happens, to be honest. <laughs> like, you can figure it out. You can aim for higher percentages, but I've come to the conclusion it doesn't matter. Um, because even if I have, you know, this down here and that there. So, I thought at first, I guess what I'm trying to say. I thought at first, I'm going to complete that theory. See there, I got a fundamental. Um, that it had to hit 100% to actually get the kind of like the theory point. It's not. It's additive. So, if I get 66% this time and 50% on the next one, I still get that theory point. So even if you're not efficient and you just want to click through it all like a madman, <laughs> it really doesn't matter at all whatsoever. Um, the only ones that are a little different here, I mean, these ones here, if you have the crystals, which I actually do, it can kind of give you a different paths you can go. And there's also certain ones like this one here. If it has this exclamation point, you can give it the items as well, but it uses those. So if it has an exclamation point, I don't usually do them because it kind of wastes the items, right? And uh, a lot of that stuff I don't even have yet. Like, I don't have that. And I don't have... I have that stuff. What am I even doing? Alchemy. Um, yeah, I don't have that. I could do Jellum. Because um, I did go ahead and make a whole lot of Viz here. I think I have every kind of Viz uh, that there actually is. I'll actually show you how I did that real quick. Just to kind of give you an idea here. Let's go... Let's do, like... I guess 10 coal? Maybe not 10 coal because there's a lot of this in there. Let's do, like, 5 coal just so I can show you. I actually spent about a half an hour doing this. Let's go to uh, quartz. Grab some quartz here. Yeah, it's this quartz silver. I only have 34 k quartz, so it's really expensive to do. But basically, what you do here is take it, you throw it. Oh, you can just right-click it in, I guess. You don't have to throw it in. Um, and then just start right-clicking, and you'll just start getting viz, like, insanely. Uh, it'll actually gather it all up, get out of the materials, and then you can kind of get it cleanly without putting flux in the air. So that's kind of a big thing. So I could just grab that there. Also through a sink there, and there's actually a uh, plant transfer node, which is actually putting water automatically back to the sink. But anyway, that's how I kind of got all my viz. And I uh, got that done. These are kind of spillovers. I just want to have like a little bit of each kind in here for when I was doing research. But anyway, let's go oh, this way, I guess. Let's head up this way. And uh, kind of get to our first thing here. The first thing we're going to get to is going to be, we're going to upgrade our... Um, I guess our Astro Sorcery crafting table, the altar. Uh, the main reason for that is I want to be able to get to the better seeds. So if we go to, I was actually at seeds, wasn't I? Uh, Obsidian seeds, because this is one of the ones I want, actually. We actually have to have the next level crafting table, so the starlight. We need level 2 essence, which I actually have. I should actually show you, because some of the stuff I did was actually uh, other essence. So I made ones like uh, dye essence, where our tier 2, but they're just crafting recipes, so it's nothing special about it. Uh, but you need some of that. You need some of this stuff. You need that. I'm not sure about the starlight, though. So if this thing needs maximum starlight, I'm not going to be able to upgrade the starlight right away uh, without spectral relays. Go to spectral. Check that out. Take a look right there. And these lenses here. I didn't... I kind of looked at this. The mirrored glass. That's a thomic item. I don't even know how to make it. I don't have the research yet, so I can't make it. So even if I knew the recipe, it wouldn't let me craft it. So... Yeah, I may have to go this path. I may not. I'm really not sure. We're going to have to go into Thomcraft at some point anyway. I'm just not sure exactly when we're going to have to do it. Anyway, let's kind of get this going here. Uh, let's put you there. I think it's like a 3x3 three three in the center, if I remember correctly. Then we'll kind of look at the book here. But uh, we'll get this, uh, what is it called? City Marble kind of in place. There we go. Yeah, I think that's the basic shape right there. Let's do that. So I'll throw you right there for now, just so we don't have any mobs. Open up the Astral Trome. Trome? I have no idea. Go to the Starlight Crafting. Head over this way. And this is actually the multi-block here. So there's the sooty. I guess that's the... That's just brick, isn't it? Marble bricks. I got all the blocks there anyway. Then the pillars and the chisels on top. Okay, just kind of looking at it. So we can kind of get it all figured out here. Uh, so it's just like this. Let's get that done really quick. Uh, this stuff you can just make too. So super easy. I actually have marble essence now, so I can actually just, I don't even have to use combustion anymore. Just kind of get it done. They changed the texture on this block too. I actually don't mind that one. That's actually pretty cool. That is the right stuff, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's uh, so weird to see that texture. So more uh, vibrant, I guess. I guess on the outside, we're going like this. Is this right? Am I doing this right? Looks like it. Let's pretend. Let's uh, get that. Oh, that's bricks. We don't want to do that. There we go. Guess we want this here, marble arch. 
get around all the sides we'll upgrade our table and uh you want to have this altar built before you upgrade your table because otherwise uh if you're not able to use it it's going to mess everything up big time so yeah that's definitely something you want to worry about um yeah because you won't have the starlight uh to actually do it so you upgrade your uh crafting table that one over there because it uses the last one and uh if you don't have enough starlight you can't use it right or the multi-block i should say either so yeah that's definitely something to be um concerned with because otherwise you're gonna have to make another starlight crafting table the base level base level one so that's kind of why i'm doing it this way there we go guess we just need our pillars then our flask four chiseled yeah we gotta get the recipe going here get it going pretty cool to get back in the astral i actually love astral pretty good mod uh we should be able to use it to actually uh kind of ramp up Batania too. I was thinking uh, we can get into, once we get into the point where we have the collector crystals, uh, we can actually use it to make cakes and use it for, um, you know, mana for uh, Batania, which would be pretty cool. Uh, I think that's the recipe there. Let's go grab that. Uh, we should probably actually grab the crafting table as well. Do that. I don't know if I mentioned either. I don't know where I put my pick and matic. So I'm actually using the atomic disassembler, um, which is actually a pretty cool item anyway. How do I get two of those? Did I make a next one, extra one? I don't even remember. Not gonna worry about it. Let's put that right there. Luminous. Uh, what are we doing? Let's go ahead and grab the actual recipe here. So it's the pillars in the corner, chiseled, rock, liquid, and niter. Let's do that. I remember thinking I was gonna do this very early on and didn't get to it. Part of the reason I got the extra niter. Uh, what am I doing here? That, that, that. Rock and starlight right we just need our resonating one which should be in here and uh yeah we'll just get this going pretty sweet bam there we go that's gonna kind of switch over we're gonna get ourselves a new crafting table and hopefully if the multi-block is correct <laughs> it'll actually work here uh, let's see how much starlight we get in this puppy that's not too bad actually so we'll kind of see i did kind of set up one of the seed recipes here so i actually have the one uh for the obsidian uh, I want many more of the seeds, but I need to know how much starlight this is going to take, right? So let's do that. Looks like the night's about to end anyway. Uh, we may have to wait till another night because I didn't really plan that out at all. <laughs> I think that's actually backwards anyway. Here we go. And what is the rest of it? Right there. Let's grab you. Here we go. There's our seed. Let's see. It's actually letting us craft it, so I'm not going to have to be as panicked, I don't think, about uh, starlight uh, as I thought it was going to have to be. I was expecting it since it was an extra pack that it was going to make us have the uh, full bar. But, uh, yeah, there we go. We actually got the tier 3 seed, our first one. I can actually go plant that real quick and uh, show you our other essence anyway. So it's crazy being able to move around so quick now. I'm uh, loving that, I have to say. It is a utterly fantastic thing. Where is that at? Let's grab you. Sweet. Let's head inside. This is kind of the point where the pack actually starts ramping up a lot. Well, I guess it's going to be after... Uh, we get through the magic mods, you know, about halfway through them. At that point, the packs is going to... I find most packs, once they hit that point, to just start going into Meltdown. But, uh, I'm going to throw that there. So the other seeds we have here... I don't know why I did that. That's totally bonkers. So I'll throw you there. I'm going to need a piece of dirt, but not that big a deal. I'll come back. We have Marble Essence. We have Fire. Uh, we have Ice. We have Nature. We have Wood. We have Dye Essence. So that's every dye. Uh, we've got Stone Essence, and uh, actually one of the best ones is right here, Dirt Essence. Um, you go ahead, you can make your dirts. You can make gravel, you can make mycelium, which is actually important for Thomcraft. Um, clay, infinite clay, infinite mushrooms, um, sand, stuff like that. The main thing I guess I wanted out of that one was the, uh, the clay there. I mean, I'll never have to worry about clay at all whatsoever. And there's other good things in here too, so this one actually has some neat stuff as well, I think. See here, you got, yeah, your sugar cane, you got your pumpkin. Like, you don't have to worry about anything. Just having these base essences, all your base materials, are kind of just taken care of. So, pretty cool, pretty awesome. And uh, we have that now. And, uh, yeah, so I was kind of planning on getting to Thoundcraft because I literally thought our seed was going to fail. Uh, I'm not going to go through and make all the seeds right now because literally, if you kind of look at all the seeds I want here, so go to seeds. Actually, let's go to... It's mostly the tier threes, right? So you go to tier threes, not skeletons, like stuff like silver. It's just crafting, right? There's no point watching me do that. And uh, there's nothing else in Astral I want immediately. I do want to get to the iridescent altar. Uh, iridescent. 
uh, that'll be kind of moving forward. Uh, we're going to have to get into blood magic to actually be able to do that, looks like. And what are these things? Color lenses? Um, we can do those easy. Yeah, and then we'll have to get into the uh, starlight infusion as well. And get into the collector crystals. So there's actually a lot to do to kind of get into that. Um, but um, before we do that, I think we're going to go through Thawncraft. Because I, I keep kind of dodging it. And I need to kind of start doing it and get to certain parts. I really need the goggles of revealing for one. And I would like to get to those mirrors for another. And maybe the smeltery and stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll just start poking around with it. See what we can do. Because I'm going to be a total derp with this. I'll be honest. Thumbcraft, I'm going to be a derp. I need to figure this out. And uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of just kind of do some of the quest here. Kind of hammer it out, I think. And okay, let's open up our Thumb Nubcon. Kind of get going here. Uh, we're going to get going down two different quest lines here. I want to get into Oromancy and I want to get into Artifice. I want to get into this one because it's going to get us to an item that's going to upgrade our Arcane Workbench. And this one over here is going to get over to our Goggles. I really don't know where the mirror's at, so if anyone knows where it's at, let me know, because uh, most of this research I'm going to be doing in between episodes, honestly. It's going to be the way it works, um, because it's really just kind of follow the path and do what it tells you. There's nothing really special, so I'm just going to kind of do the research so we can actually do setups and stuff, right? Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do this one, so the Viz Resonator and the Caster Glove. Uh, we need some leather here. I think I'm going to finally have to automate that, because I think I'm almost out. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and grab some Run Flash. Let's grab, I don't know, like four of that. Probably be the, the exact number we need. So if it's not like four of that, it's exactly four of that. There we go. And grab that and throw that into the manufacturing. Where is the manufacturing? Right there. There we go. Get this recipe going. I've been using this one. I've just been throwing stacks in because I'm lazy. Uh, let's go ahead and make some leather, though. Uh, let's make a metric butt ton of it. Let's go. Let's make a thousand. <laughs> why not right there we go we got leather going so that's kind of what i'm going for there so let's grab some leather sweet and handle that uh we needed the viz resonators right so let's go ahead and grab some of that and uh, we're also gonna need some quartz here right so let's grab you as well yeah we'll just get that crafted on this table here these seem to be in a lot of recipes so yeah you're going to be using them quite a lot so i'm going to make a couple there that should handle that and uh, what's the actual gauntlet the actual gauntlet is three iron a couple other that and a thumb meter okay let's go ahead and grab that jazz i think i have most of that stuff here grab you and where's the other one i need uh i got the plates i have that this oh i need thumb meter there we go let's grab this jazz kind of get it going here i think it's like that right that put that there maybe that's wrong <laughs> i totally messed up now kind of look one more time Caster glove, yeah, it is totally different than that. There we go. Grab three of you and one of these Viz Resonators. And uh, there you go. Got a caster glove. That should actually satisfy, satisfy that quest there. We can finish that off. This is kind of like the main tool. It's like the wand uh, for the mod now. So when you make your spells and stuff, they actually go in here. And, uh, that's kind of how that works. Uh, we need to unlock artifice as well. And to do that, where's that one at? We need to do this quest, so the alchemical metallurgy. So we're gonna do that one. Um, the observation too, the way it works too, the the kind of the researches, they're actually on a point system. So you can see here, this one actually takes one alchemy. So I actually need to, you know, first scan something that has alchemy, get one of those points, and this is actually going to subtract a point from me. So it's actually a point system. I always thought it was a level system, but totally not. Uh, chemical brass, where we need some instrumentium. I think is what it's called. Instrumentum, I guess. Let's grab. Let's actually keep 10, do the rest. We'll do, I guess, eight of these for right now. Probably good enough. Grab that. And uh, we just throw this jazz in there. there we go. And there we go. There's eight of that. That's probably a quest as well, right? Cool. Let's go ahead and complete that one. I'm going to unlock here. Just blocks. And it gets, which we'll have to do at some point. But I don't think we need it right now, so we're not going to worry about that. So what is the next thing we need here? We have that one. That one's done. Uh, I need to go back to fundamentals and then work on this one. Oh, well, this one's already done because I already have an observation for RFS. So we're good there. And uh, we should be able to get into a new tab now. There it is. We can actually make our goggles. And I really want these things. 
So that, 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 and that. We can actually craft that right up. So let's go ahead and get that done. So that, that right there. I think it was this, right? That there. And two of them, then the rest leather. Sweet. And uh, we got our goggles revealing. So the whole point of these things is being able to kind of see Viz. Uh, we're not going to be able to see it right now. You'll probably see it in the next kind of ritual or I guess the next, uh, next alchemy thing we do here. So let's just kind of wait a second. I want to get over to, which tab is it in? There it is right there. This is what I'm kind of targeting here, the workbench starter. So currently, if you look at this table here, you'll see it has a certain amount of viz in it. Um, it's only 91. It's kind of maxed out per chunk. So if you kind of hold the thumb meter, hold shift, you see that there's a number 92 and it's going up. Uh, there's a number above it that's flux. That is bad stuff. The stuff below is what we used to kind of craft with. I think if we walk over to another chunk, you'll see there, this one has 114, and every chunk's a little different. But that charger is going to make it so we can pull uh, viz from surrounding chunks and make it so we have a lot more to work with. So it just makes your life all around easier. And that's what I'm going for. Uh, but to get there, though, I'm going to have to do a little stuff. So uh, 20 Virtius, Precontatio, and Orm, and Ordo Crystal to make a blank lesser focus. Uh, the focuses are what you actually do your spells on. So let's go ahead. That. Where's the precantatio? This is the wrong crate here. Let's go ahead and grab 20 of that. There you go. Was it 20 of that or 10? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to have to actually check it. I might be getting it backwards here. Got to grab that, grab that. 20 of the Virtius the other way around. We only need one, so I don't want to go ahead and grab a whole bunch of stuff we don't need. Okay, we need to find five orm, and I think we got everything for the recipe there. And you'll be able to see this in the cauldron in a different way here in a second, so that's pretty cool. It makes it a lot easier kind of working with the uh, Essentia, so that's pretty pretty awesome in itself. So there, there, and there. Although with this kind of crafting at this point, not a major difference. But you can see there, you can actually see the symbols now, and that's because I'm wearing the goggles. It actually tells you the numbers, and uh, it's weird, it's kind of hiding behind the AE2 stuff, but anyway, just going to throw that in there. That's going to give us our focus, and that should let us go to the second part of that quest. There we go. Looks like the next thing it wants us to do is examine fire and make the focal manipulator. So we're going to have to do that. Going to have to make some arcane stone and grab some gold. Let's do that. Let's grab... We need to make some arcane stone first because I don't have any over here. Gonna have uh, some stone. Go and uh, just do it that way. Sweet. Let's grab a stack. Kind of throw that off. Make one of them, and I'll handle that. We did gold. Right there. I don't know why I threw that arcane in there either. I should probably grab that because uh, we're definitely gonna need it. And what else did it need there? There was something else. There was one more item, right? That. Oh yeah, the table. We're going to make the stone table and uh, flint and steel. So let's grab a flint and steel first. Grab that. And then grab a stone table. Awesome. Get that done there. Grab ourselves some stone slabs. And boom. We have that. Awesome. Okay, so we just got to set up the recipe. Uh, this should be pretty simple. I think it was something like this here. Maybe. <laughs> got to guess it. What was in the quarters? I can't even remember. It was... Oh, just uh, iron plates. Let's go ahead and grab two of them, maybe. And then, is that in the center? Yeah, it was. This thing is actually used to make your spells. So if I kind of take that, throw it down, grab this right here, throw it in, I suppose, maybe. Always messing me up because you see a bar down here, but it moves, there, moves everything. It's a little glitched, like, apparently. Maybe it doesn't like my... Uh, Thing here. I actually need to come out anyway. Let's do this for a second. There we go. I need to unlock that. It's not going to work. Because it's not going to give us any spells until we do. Let's go ahead and uh, just uh, light this on fire. I wanted us to examine fire, and that's how you do it. You have felt the touch of flame. So it actually handles that part of the quest as well. And we're just going to complete that one. And you can read most of this, and it's not written clearly, so you have to kind of figure it out. You can see here now we have some kind of elemental effects we have access to. And if I had some Oromancy, I could unlock this one to get projectiles. But, uh, yeah, you can kind of get all kinds of different spells. 
And you can customize them. They're almost like Psy spells, although easier, right? So I can go like Touch. I can make a Touch spell. It has complexity, like Psy. And I can make it say Fire, because we have access to that one. And I can max out the plus because they right? But they, it's going to change the viz cost as well, right? So the viz and experience apparently causes cost experience as well. I didn't know that. But I could craft this if I threw in Versio and Ningus, which I might do here really quickly. Let's grab uh, Ningus and Versio. That one right there. Sweet. I think you just have to have it in your inventory, actually. Then you just click start. Uses a whole lot of viz. <laughs> It does uh, kind of get done there. And the viz per cast is three, so it's actually pretty cheap. But anyway, we'll get that done. And I think we just have to equip it. To do that, I think we just hit L, right? Oh, you got to hold your gauntlet first, right? Hold your gauntlet, hit L, kind of select it. And uh, if I right click now, I just shoot little pops of fire. But uh, you can make more spells, the more you unlock, kind of the more you can do with it. So yeah, we have that now, so that's pretty cool. But anyway... Not really what I'm interested in. I'm going to need to do some theory and Oromancy. Kind of move forward. So let's go ahead. So I'll scrap that theory. Let's actually grab this table for a second. Because this has to be closer to this. Then I'll be able to actually select it in here and kind of target um, that kind of research. So that one there is actually the Oromancy. So I'll grab that. So that one. <laughs> Keep giving me easy ones like that. Oh, it's being really nice to us actually. 15. Let's grab that one. We almost got a full one. Oh my, we might actually hit 100% on our first try. We did too. That's awesome. And these are the celestial notes that I didn't grab. Uh, I'll just grab that one. Complete the theory. We actually got one. And uh, we should be able to complete that quest there. Grab that. This one is just telling us about the recharge pedestal, which I believe just recharges things that take viz. Now we're not really concerned about that because we don't even have anything. But uh, looks like I need another Oromancy, actually, before we can actually kind of move forward here. So let's go ahead and get one of them. You know, it's being nice, actually. It's not usually this nice to kind of keep giving you <laughs> what you're after. Uh, we're out of paper here. Let's grab some of that. I've already gone through about six stacks of paper working on this stuff. It doesn't take very long. Be a little force. I just basically look for the icons and target them. They have the little images behind it. Like, that's the goggles, so it's artifice. Experimentation, that one doesn't matter. I'll just go that way. Rethink. Rethink kind of gives you an extra kind of go to... Yeah, it kind of branched off on me. There we go. Got some more Aramansi there. Oh, we also got some warp. Our first one. Warp research complete. There we go. And uh, we probably got another one. There we go. We got our Aramansi. So we got that. We can actually hit complete on that. You can actually see the recipe here. So it needs a Viz Resonator, two iron, and some great wood. So we're going to have to get some great wood. To do that, we're going to have to do that, I believe, with the life infusion. So we'll kind of grab our... Oh, well, not life infusion. It's just called the infusion, isn't it? Sand infusion. A sapling, because I already looked at this recipe here. Let's throw that in. And I have no idea. Let's grab great wood. There's two uh, trees from this mod, so maybe I'll just make both. Great wood sapling. This one needs Precantatio. Let's grab five of that jazz real quick. Uh, there's also Silverwood. I believe they're both quests, so I might as well just grab them anyway. And we're going to need them for different crafting. This one needs Quicksilver. Let's grab that. We have that coming in automatically now anyway from the miner. There we go. Anything else here? That, that, that. We'll need another sapling probably. Sapling. And some dirt. Probably a good amount of dirt, actually, because uh, these are two wide, two by two trees. And, uh, they're quite large, actually. That should handle that one. That should handle that one. Let's get two saplings down. So one there, one there. Uh, what goes in offhand? I forget the thing you're kind of making there. So let's do that. And uh, that's good. What else do we need? We need this in our main hand, I suppose. There we go. There's one. Here's our first sapling, I guess. The last second one was the silver wood. Awesome. Yeah, we got both our saplings here, so I'm actually gonna grow them. Oh, there it is right there. Right there, and right there. Grab you and you. You can actually use this too as bone meal. I kind of forget about that. You can just do that. 
<laughs> yeah, do that. There we go. So we just uh, cut these down real quick. Probably gonna get hungry when I do this one over here, actually, the free wood. Because those trees are giant. Actually, we didn't get a real big one, thankfully. And they also drop these, I think. Yeah, the quick drop pearls are quick silver drops. They could actually be turned into quick silver. So another benefit of them. But anyway, that handles that. We got all of wood. Now we're good to go there. So let's go ahead and kind of convert some of those planks over. Dad, get this done, man. <laughs> I'm just kind of rushing through it. Uh, what do we need here? I kind of forget what it was. It was a focal. Two planks. A vis resonator. I keep calling that a focal. Vis resonator. Two that and two iron. Okay. Grab. You. You. There we go. Uh, vis resonator. And two iron ingots, right? Maybe. Let's grab some iron. I think I might have dropped it off. Grab you. I only have 25k iron now anyway. Or 225 uh, nuggets if you want to count it that way. Is that it? There we go. Grab one of them, hopefully. Oh, it needs more viz. We don't have enough viz in this chunk, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop this stuff off really quick. All of it. I'm going to grab this workbench. <laughs> And uh, we're going to go on a little flight, because I know there's a lot more over here. If you actually kind of pull this thing out, kind of hold shift, seen top left there, it tells you the viz and chunks. And uh, I knew there was a bunch of over here. It's a fair amount. So I think uh, over there has a little less. It's not going to matter too much. But uh, anyway, if we take this, throw it down, we should be able to just kind of get it done this way. What was that thing called? It's not called a frame. I keep trying to call it a frame. Charger. I'm just curious if we can shift click it in. Let's see. Charger. Yes, we can. Awesome. And it just needs the right um, sent you in there. There we go. We got it. Let's actually take it back, though. <laughs> I want to keep it over here as long as the flux is low. And then I'll move it, right? Because I don't want the flux to get too high in this chunk. Uh, although I'm not making much flux, to be honest. I've been pretty clean with this so far. I've been going out of my way to do clean crafting. Anyway, let's kind of get that thrown in there. And that there. Sweet. Then we take that, just throw it on top, I believe. And uh, that kind of multi-blocks. Notice now we have 1,077 uh, visit here. So we can do a lot more crafting. It goes up uh, a lot faster, I think, as well. So, yeah, much better. It's actually checking all these surrounding chunks all at the same time, which is actually pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that's actually awesome. I don't even know what to get to now. I don't know where that mirror is in the book at all, like I said. I don't even know what to target. Um, it might be over here somewhere at Artifice, because I don't know which mirror it is. Like, in the old Thongcraft, there was a mirror that you can kind of link and then kind of throw things through. <laughs> and pipe items through them and stuff. I don't know if it is that mirror, and I can't remember where it was uh, in the old version as well. Huh. I don't even know where to check. It might be down here somewhere. I don't know. We'll figure it out. You guys will tell me. I'm going to end up doing a ton of this research anyway. I'm probably going to get into the smelting and all this jazz. I'm going to probably do this section here. Um, just so we can get into the smelting and making the, um, what is it? The, the, the jars? No, the files. The files of Vesemsha, right? These things. Because, uh, yeah, they can kind of hold 10 per. And, uh, you need it for a lot of the research, I noticed as well. So definitely something I'm going to do. And okay, I think we're going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. I want you guys all a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.